Okay, the bell work for April 2nd. Find the domain of the function divine by, defined by each quarter. Divined. It's not like that. Okay, um, so what are we concerned about when it comes to 1A? Uh, well, we're concerned about uh, something other than a positive or a zero underneath that radical. So we would say uh, 2x minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0, right? If it's um, less than 0, we have a problem. So uh, we're going to say plus 1 on both sides. And we'll say 2x is greater than or equal to 1. And we'll divide by 2. And we'll say x is greater than or equal to 1 half. If it goes below that, we have a problem. So we would say uh, the domain for the first one uh, would be, well, what should we say? Uh, we'll say bracket one half comma, and then we'll say it can go as high as it wants. Oh, 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 can't do that. Here we go. Okay, for B, uh, we've got a couple things we need to worry about. Um, the first one is that x uh, minus 3 can't be, um, well, we, you know, I'm going to let the other bleed over. Uh, I'm, I was going to say greater than or equal to 0, but you know, it's got to be greater than 0, right? Because we're on the bottom of a fraction, so let me just go ahead and combine the ideas. Um, not negative and not zero either. And so we'll say plus three on both sides. And we'll say x is greater than three. Uh, but not equal to three because that would be bad. So we'll say the domain here is... Um, so we're going to use a parentheses three and go on up. Beautiful. Okay. So that's for B. And for C... Um, okay, so, um, I guess we could say both things. We could say x, we know that x has to be uh, greater than 1, and x also has to be um, greater than negative 6. Um, and the greater than 1 is going to win because, um, you know, it's... We could say zero, but then we'd have a problem. Would we have a problem? Um, yeah, because we would have a negative. If we put in a zero, we'd have uh, minus one, you know, and we'd say, uh, and and we'd have. Well, let's see. We're not worried about the. Um, we're not worried about the square root this time. Um, so let me go back and rethink this. Um, we're just going to say uh, x is not equal to 1 and x is not equal to negative 6. Other than that, we're okay because this time we're not dealing with the square root. So I had square root on the brain because of the first two. And um, yeah, so there's only two places where we're concerned. So let's see, uh, because no more square root. So the domain would be, um, I don't care about negative infinity. Uh, as long as I don't have to have uh, negative 6 involved. And then I could say the union of that set. I could. I, I think somebody might have a little issue with that. But um, we'll do that. And then we'll say the union of uh, 1 as we go on up to infinity. So basically we're just leaving out um, 1 and negative 6. And if you want to put commas instead of the union of sets, that's fine. Um, so that's good. Um, now in here on the simplification, let's see. We can't let this radical stay on the bottom, so I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. It's what we do. Same thing on the top, just because we did it on the bottom. So let's see, on the top we get, we foil it, and we get 12, and we get uh, negative 9 square root of 3, and we get uh, negative 6, 6, 
Who said sex? What am I doing here? Oh no. Go back. Uh, negative 8. Square root of 3. Is that right? Yep. And then um, positive 6 times uh, the square root of 36. Okay, over um, 16. No middle term, right? Because it's the conjugate. And then uh, negative 3 uh, times 3 is, um, well, I'll just say 3. We know the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3. Okay, so uh, we will say uh, 12. Put these guys together and we get negative 17 square root of 3. Uh, we know the square root of 36 is 6, so we're going to say uh, plus turns out to be 36 again over um, 16 take away 27. So let's see, our final product here is going to be 48 minus 17 square root of 3 over, we got a negative, maybe we'll put the negative out in front. And uh, we have 11 on the bottom. Okay. I don't think I can simplify that anymore.